Uh, for this video I've prepared some plastic pieces. So I've got plastic cards that have some prints on them. And um, this, is, this has um, pink foil in there. Can you see that? So there's that beautiful shine. These are by Pink Paisley. Then I've got a Heidi Swap uh, a flower. This is also plastic. Then I've got, I think this is from Seven Gypsies, a chandelier piece, also plastic. And one ideology fragment piece from Tim Holtz. And then I've got a white and um, clear plastic as they are for testing too. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to take one of these plastic pieces. Let's take the fragment and I'm just going to add, it's it's uh, not hot, it's not pre-treated with anything, it's just the surface as it is and I'm going to add some glimmer mist on top. So and then I'm going to heat it a little bit and since this is plastic I'm being careful about not heating it too much because you never know how that's going to react with heat and the same reaction what happens with the um, glass and the metal is that you get these splatters and, and color lakes on top of the surface um, it doesn't spread around evenly but you, when you give it a little bit heat it will uh, dry on spot and the interesting thing to see will be if this um, actually um, rubs off from the plastic or if it sticks to it when I heat it and when it's all dry so with the glass we notice that it does stick to the glass but if you rub it hard enough it comes off so you better add it um, on an area that you can protect somehow or that is protected for example inside a bottle that might work so we're almost dry here and I'm being careful even though it's plastic it still gets hot so it's still quite hot so you get this you get this nice shade splatters and, and splotches on top of the la plastic layer here and if you rub it it doesn't come off so it stays there I'm just being careful a little bit of blue may, might have come off of there but not much actually and it's still quite hot so I'm being really careful and then I'm just going to flip it around because it has two sides I'm going to heat the surface and then add some gold on top because then we will probably also see the blue areas through since it's clear and then add some gold on top and then heat it just try to keep it quite even so the color spreads around everywhere on the surface so I'm figuring out this way we get a better result actually like the other one more because this is just it looks like it's a stain well it works it definitely works but you will end up with a stain look on top of the plastic layer well it doesn't look bad actually it doesn't it's okay so this is first heated then mist it then heat it quickly again and that's the goal so you get this stained look and here you have these stronger colors going on when you mist it first and then heat it and let it dry on spot so this way the color spreads around much more and interesting would be to see what happens if I add some some splatters on top of this to make it look more So I'm just going over it, adding the splatters in, in there, the pink ones, for, just for some interest, to create a more interesting look. And even add some green on top, so that we have all colors going on in there.
just don't heat it too much. You can also leave it to air dry, but I think with the plastic you will need to give it some heat to, to make it work. So that's how it looks like now. Interesting, really interesting look. But I still personally like this more than this one. But this also it looks nice, so you can definitely do both ways. Okay, and then next, what do we have next? We have this flower, and I feel like it needs to be pink. Heidi loves pink, I think, so we'll do some pink there, since it's her flower or her design. So then I heated it first and then I added the color and since it's an uneven surface it will turn out totally different. It will gather on some areas, the color will gather on some areas and and not affect other areas that much but you still get this stained look. Also on this piece. Just don't heat it too much that it starts to deform itself we wouldn't, we wouldn't want that to happen. But it's definitely working. So you get this. Imagine you place this on a white surface. Then you can really see the difference. You have this color splatters there. Really strong ones. If you place it on something dark you cannot see it that much. So here it's pinkish throughout and then you have these areas that are much tr stronger colored or toned so you can you can do some some testing with plastics too and add some detail onto plastic pieces also then let's do the chandelier piece and i feel like this should be green because we didn't do that much green yet and I'm heating it a little bit first again and then just spraying and heating immediately and then I can add a second layer if I feel like it's it's not enough color in there and you get this light green shade of, of uh, it looks like a glass stain there. So you can actually cheat and use plastic and make them look like it's, it's stained glass. If you add it onto a mixed media project for example, that would work. And since this is water solu soluble, this, um, this color, immediately when you add a second layer it will react with the previous one. So keep that in mind too. Okay, so what we got here is a glass stain. Let me place that there so that you can see. But it looks interesting at least. So if you hang it somewhere onto a project that might look really nice in there. And from the other side, you can even protect it if you want to mount it on a piece of canvas. You could mount it with the with the other side on, on the bottom to protect the color even. I don't know how that would work. Might not work that well because it might react with the media. So it might be better to use that one. And then just add a light layer of fixative on top to keep the colors on their place when the work is win finished. But you can definitely do this too. Looks interesting. Looks a lot of looks looks fun. Doesn't look bad at all. And you just need to keep in mind that when you're heating plastic, it will start to deform itself. So for example, on this piece I heated it too much. Can you see the top part? It started to form. So maybe just a little bit heat, then leave it to dry a little bit, then just a little bit heat again until you have it completely dry or leave it to air dry. But then the results might not be that nice. And then we have these plastic um, cards here. 
and I'm going to heat them just a little bit because they are really thin they start to deform themselves immediately and I'm going to add some green on top of this one just a little bit because I like the foil effect there so then just go away from that and add some heat on top of this one and then add the blue in there and that, that's a lot more color so, so that we can see if there's a difference if we add a stronger color concentration on top or if, if we just add a light mist and it's deforming itself it got too hot I'm hoping it will still okay so we need to leave that to air dry and come back for that later because I don't want to ruin them both I already ruined this one so I need to Maybe I can form it back into its original form a little bit. Yeah, not much. So this will end up on a junk journal probably due to its new form. So it doesn't go well with plastic obviously. Uh, there's not much color on top because it was just a light shade and shimmer. Here maybe we can see something in the end, in the end but not much. So they would have to be sturdy, bigger plastic pieces that you missed uh, to get proper results. And this might turn out nice too, but it will definitely need to air dry. So I've got all this color going on there. And leave that to dry because I don't want to ruin that one. And then finally we have these big pieces of plastic here and here and for the one I'm going to just add the mist on top and leave that to air dry to see what happens. And on the other one, so I'll just leave that again like the metal pieces uh, to dry and see what happens with that one when it dries on its own it's probably going to take overnight and then I'm going to just slightly carefully hopefully I can make it heat this one and then start with one color heat it again a little bit this is thicker material so this might even work so it's definitely the glimmer is moving around the surface, it's starting to dry, it's not deforming itself yet at least. And then adding some gold there. You get really nice blends in there too. And then some pink over here. And it's mixing with the green. And it's slightly starting to deform itself. So definitely not a good idea to heat plastic, obviously. But I just wanted to test what happens with the color if you heat it a little bit. So sorry for, for the deformation here, but this has to be now because I want to see what happens with this color here. As you can see, it's, it's completely out of form because it's really, the heat gun is really hot. So not a good idea, but since we had been experimenting, maybe it will go back to in its original form, at least somewhat. And it's, it turned out really soft, it's like spaghetti. Okay, so that would be the color on the plastic when I've heated it. So it definitely goes into the surface and reacts with the surface, but also the surface will react to the heat. So that's not a good idea at all to do it this way. But if you would like to have something deforming, then you might want to deform the plastic into a particular form. 
and leave it to dry like that to get a result, interesting result for some type of project. For some purpose that might be an interesting detail to know, but not for my purposes at least. Okay, so that was plastic misted. The white one and then we have the clear here. And I'm going to do the same even if I feel like I'm doing something totally wrong and bad. So on this surface you get like color lakes here. When you're misting it. So I've got this light color splotches going on there. I'm going to leave that to dry and then we'll see if, if something happens with that at all. And we leave that to air dry and then this one will going to heat a little bit. Preheated and probably this will also deform itself quite a lot. Just slight heat, then some color and some heat again. So basically doing the same thing, thing over and over again, just on different materials. Then here some gold. And you get this, since this is a clear piece, you get this stained look. Okay. And this is quite a thick piece of plastic, but it still starts to bend itself due to the extreme uh, heat that it's getting onto its surface. And this also might be something you're, that's not that good to do because you get all these fumes from plastic that are not good for your health. So definitely something you should not try at home. I have the window open, so it's okay. Um, so let me show you this one. It doesn't get that hot. So I've got this glass stains, dirty stains going on there. Might be interesting for something, but plastic is definitely not something that I am really excited about. I was more excited about the metal. Okay, so This is what we got and, and on the end of this video I will, uh, each, each section of this video I will add the pictures of the dry finished results of these uh, misted pieces, also the ones that get to air dry on their own. That might take a little longer than 24 hours, we'll see. Um, because of the surface of the plastic it doesn't dry that fast. And then I will take pictures of those and tell you if that if the color comes off or not. On these surfaces, it sticks there once it's once it's dry. It sticks to the surface. It doesn't come off anymore. But it might be different on on the on the air dry surface. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed these little tests that I've done with the glimmer mist and different materials. And I'll be adding. Uh, techniques and pastes and other stuff to this video series throughout the year um, to show you some, some ideas that you can do with Klima Mists and, and, and how to add them on your work and how to work with those. But for now, this is the end of this section of the video series. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and ho I hope you have got some new ideas to test out your Klima Mists and have fun testing, have fun experimenting, that is what it's all about. Try new things out, maybe you figure out something that you want to tell me, so I'm, I would be happy to, to hear about that on the, on the commentary section of, of these videos. Always interesting to find out new tips and tricks and ideas with products, so maybe you can also help with that. Um, okay, that's it. Hope you liked all these videos and thanks for watching.